a lot of money on it. It looks beautiful and it kind of answers some questions and then also throws forward a little bit. The end of the season got, it was pretty heavy with emotional things and we were like, we're gonna go back to our roots of like just super big funny episodes and a lot of fun surprises. Yeah, it was one of those things where Seth, we obviously love him and he's super busy, but he's a dear friend of the show and we were like, God, he was in the show, but because it was the first season, it was a third episode, we were like, we can't resist having him be Seth Meyers. For super fans. Super fans I would like to see a with a good eye. You kind of look like that architect that I went on one <laughs> game with. Someone can write a really good piece of fan fiction about those two characters meeting. You look really familiar. He's a great actor too. He, did, he has some very yeah. funny stuff in this episode. <clears throat> We're really lucky. Even when Mindy and Danny are fighting, that's hilarious. The way they're bickering with each other is just endlessly funny to us. We take the, these characters very seriously, and whatever we do with them, we want to make sure that it is completely honest and plausible about. We, we care about them just as much as the audience does. Mm -hmm. Hulu is great because we get to do uh, episodes that are 22 and a half minutes long yeah. and they've been very flexible if we have a, an idea that seems like it needs more air to give us extra time. At the beginning of our season we had Joseph Gordon-Levitt on the show and we had Danny and Morgan in India. Both of those stories were like, hey we can't tell each of these in 11 minutes. We need, and we met Mindy's parents. So that was a time when we added I think almost five minutes to our normal yeah. runtime, and it was worth it, but I don't think we need that every single episode. Yeah. It's too much. Too much. Hi, I'm Matt Warburton. I'm Mindy Kaling, and you're watching TVInsider.com.